Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and we released this tool a couple years ago, and we um, recently updated it to V2. And not just that, but because we use Desolato's UIA approach, we find a much more robust way. So let me get the text under mouse here tool, and I'll show you um, how it works. Basically, you go onto any program. Now, it works differently in different programs, and, and I've assigned a hotkey. It's just... All right, so you can see here... I right click the hotkey right now for me is control T and you can change that. You can click here and change the hotkey. Uh, I'm just going to stick with that and go to your program and hit control T and it will often, like that time I don't think I got it there. Um, it, it's getting the overall, there's an outline for the page, but if we go into a different element. So in a browser, it may or may not work too spectacularly because. Um, these elements aren't exactly the easiest things in the world to get. But if you, let me just go up even mouse over. Let's start uh, Grepwin. Well, let's, let's first switch to Explorer. I'll bring Explorer over here. And um, if I just hit Control T. So it shows, it highlights it, but it gives us this. And by the way, this is also on my clipboard. So I'm going to hit delete here if I hit paste. You'll see that's what's on my clipboard. So it's automatically pushing that into your clipboard for you. Um, but Control T grabs it let's try it up here i don't know what it'll, wow i got that how about yeah it may not work on the i think if there's a word there yeah so i got that and you can see that highlight if i go up into my launching tools yep yeah, this is a quick launch kind of thing um, and let's go into grepwin let me start grepwin and show so sometimes you know you, you want to be able to grab text that you wouldn't be able to select and copy like, I don't know. See, I can't select that text in Greplin, but I can hit my hotkey and go grab that. So this could be very, very helpful depending on what you're doing. Now, if that doesn't work, you might try, I'm going to switch tools on you here to our window snipping tool. And if I use, for me, I think it's the control of windows. If I drag over some area, oh, and it wasn't able to get that text. Let's try this. Let's see what it does here. So this is showing you that's what's on the clipboard right now. So that's doing OCR on the screen, which is decently reliable, and it's built into Windows 10 and 11. Um, very fast, and it's pretty reliable. But this other approach, Control-T, it's great because it's programmatically getting that text, and it'll, it'll get the line breaks and things like that as well, whereas the OCR gets a little funky on some things. So check it out. Um, like I said, the, the, your mileage may vary depending on the tool. Like here in Word, if we pull up this, you can actually come up here to even these buttons and you'll get like that is the bullets, that's the numbering. But in here, interesting enough, is it just, it got the page content. So that's to me kind of weird, but I think if we go back to here, yeah, so it's, it's really a fascinating way to be able to extract text out of programs um, I don't think if there was uh, if if they blocked the selecting of text, it may or may not get it. But yeah, check it out. I'll put the URL here on the screen. And please like the video if you learned something here. I really like this tool. It really helps us out when you like the videos. And if you donate, you know when you get, download it, it's really appreciated because we spend a lot of time in these tools. And you know recouping a little bit of that is very um, helpful. Cheers. Have a great day. Bye.